Hi guys, this is a Humble Spirit. Thank you for tuning in or thank you for coming back to join me. Either way, I appreciate it and much love to you all. But with me, I have such a humble friend to the show. Hey, humble listeners, it's Humber Dean. <laughs> I hope you're well and reloaded for this episode. Uh, definitely. I'm trying to get there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, well, today yeah. we're going to kind of do a little rundown of some end time signs and events that's been happening in August, um, you know, that's just been taking, pla- taking place around the world, period. Okay. Um, so, you ready, Humber Dean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Okay, Let's so. Let's dive right into it. Exactly. So, have you been paying attention to all these? signs our heavenly father's been giving us yeah it's been so many you know i haven't really been able to just check out all of them but i have came across a few yeah and we're not gonna run down all of them but we'll try to <laughs> <laughs> we won't get enough time for that but we'll definitely try to try to get to the main ones yeah yeah so that's good you've been paying attention i hope you all have as well um and and keeping a watchful eye yeah definitely. but uh To get started, I mean, you know, we are truly experiencing uh, some events that has never been seen before, um, you know, or never seen in this time before. Our Lord says in Matthew 24, 21, For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. Okay? Okay. So, like I said, you know, we are truly experiencing some events that's never been seen before in this time period. Yeah, that's what I've been coming across, too, though. You know, people just been saying, like, why are we, like, never seen that like this? We've been living here for 20, 30 years. Yeah, I've been seeing know? that, too. Yeah, that's and true. people just so, like, taken back from it. And so, yeah, they are. Because it's hitting them out like, of nowhere. So, unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. unbelievable. So, between the floods, hailstorms, heat waves, wildfires, tornadoes, hurricanes, earthquakes, eruptions, and droughts, and probably more, (laughs) you know, um, Mm -hmm. I think it's pretty safe to say we're truly seeing end times play out, you know, mainly in the form of weather. Because, I I, I don't know, I feel like, honestly, that's the biggest way you can warn people. That's the biggest, you know, that's the thing that people are going to notice before anything, you know? In their life, because that's weather is something that you can't control. You can't, um, you know, you can't do anything about that. So, you know, we're being warned wholesale. You know, wouldn't you think so, Humphrey Dean? Yeah, that's true. And like weather is something, you know, people try to plan their whole day around. You know, the weather yeah. is something people are going to check first out of anything. Yeah, you know, that's true. That, you know, so yeah, I find it definitely. You know, going the right way with it to get people's attention. Yes, and and just like you said, I mean, it's coming out of nowhere. They're not seeing it coming. You know, things on that on that level. So yeah, definitely. Um, okay, well, let's get into some of these uh, end time events that's been happening. But uh, for starters, there's been a fair amount of hailstorms. Uh, these hailstorms have been super extreme. Uh, once again, people say it's nothing like they've ever seen before. Uh, these storms have hailed the size of softballs. And they have caused tremendous damage. Um, You know, damaging cars, homes, and even hurting or killing a couple animals. Which I found very crazy. Um, Yeah, definitely very crazy. Yeah, and that's the thing, too. You know, like, with weather, it's like all the types of weather. All they're just, like, so powerful and so, like, strong. So it's, like, going to do damage either way. Either way. You know, out of everything. You know, yes. hailstorms, tornadoes, they're all going to cause damage, but they're all on different levels. But, you know, they all pretty much were, like, destroying. Yes, like and things. extreme. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Extreme, yeah. People were saying, you know, it came so fast. They didn't have time to prepare because they, you know, just didn't see it coming. So, yeah, I mean, it comes fast and it comes and it hits hard, you know. Yeah, I've been tripping on that, you know, because flash floods really... Has become like super flash fluids. Like, yeah, they in a have. flash, you're getting like. Wow, I love that. You yeah. Know? The wordplay. Yeah, exactly. The word play. You think that's what they named it that for? Or? Flash flood? Like, you know, did they name it that for Yeah, that? yeah, probably. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. That's well, <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. He learns something every day. Um, yes, exactly, though. It's happening. And, and I had uh, seen that as well. Um, I think. Like, people were flooded out somewhere, and it had only rained for, like, an hour. 
So, uh, yeah. and, and they were like flooded. <laughs> yeah, and just the hour and a certain amount of time, you know, just like so much rain is falling. Yeah. It's like everything is just so on a whole nother Intense. intensity level. You know, intensifying. You know, like I, yeah. like I always say, our father, you know, explains it like a woman in labor. Things continue to intensify until the birth. So, I mean, that's yeah. exactly what's happening. Yeah. Our, our, our Heavenly Father says in Revelation sixteen twenty one. And there fell upon men a great hail out of heaven, every stone about the weight of a talent. And men blasphemed God because of the plague of the hail. For the plague thereof was exceeding great. Like you said, it was great. You know, these things are great. (laughs) These things are extreme. And, you know, and it's crazy because when you read Revelation and you read about these plagues, um, he constantly says that that people blaspheme God. and, And I'm just like, Instead of them trying to get mad at him or something about it, why are, why are they not looking into it, you know? Especially if it happens in your hometown. Like, you know what I mean? It's in front of your door. Why are you not like, what you mean you you mad at God about it? Yeah, you shouldn't be mad at God at all. You know, he's on his own level and doing what he's trying to do. You know, it's like up to us to do what we have to do. Yes, to, exactly. Know, to, and, I mean, it's right like there, that. plain as day, guys. Like, read the Bible. <laughs> like, it's right there. You know, he's he's pretty much telling you why he's doing these things, why these plagues are happening, why these signs are happening. He tells you everything. There is no reason to, you know, be mad at our Heavenly Father about this stuff. Yeah, you can't, like, knock him and say, oh, he's just doing this to us, or he just allowed it to happen just out of nowhere or something. You know, exactly. when y'all have been living your life however for like 20, however, you know, plus years. Yes. So, I mean, <laughs> y'all finally getting like consequences and, yep. you know, trying to trip on yep, a exactly. heavenly father now. Consequences. You're so, exactly right. That's crazy. You know, um, where, well, here is a couple more things that, you know, we all can't ignore. Uh, Florida declared a state of emergency because they have a toxic red tide outbreak on the Gulf coast so this tide is now leaving beaches covered with piles of dead marine life basically uh i think it was uh fish and um, maybe seabirds and turtles so they came up with a fund to clean this up because they want people to still come there and visit which i thought was crazy um and yeah. i and i find that very odd because people are going to be there and there will be like no fish turtles or seabirds like i said you know but i mean hey this is the new normal you know, um, and most people probably won't even notice that there isn't any wildlife out there. No, people not worried about that. You know, when has people ever been worried about it? You know, I think yeah. since like the beginning, I think just small groups have been trying to like preserve like, you know, wild animals, just natural life, wow, they like have, landmarks. Yeah. But, you know, they just fell at the wayside and, and you know, everybody else just. Ignored it and kept moving yeah, on about their life. Exactly. Yeah. And I'm like, what you mean? Like y'all got a whole like a whole ocean of like red, basically, and you're saying, Oh, we need to hurry up, get a fund up so we can clean this up so people can still come and tour here. Like what do you mean? Man, this like the Florida world is story. ending. Yeah, the Florida story was super sad when I read that. Cause they were saying, you know, like the fish that be out there, they was like, you know, they in the water and it's red and toxic. Then the um, out of water creatures that come up for air, you know, when they coming up, that's the worst place because they were saying, like, that's where all the fumes and stuff at. Mm. So they're trying to come up and get fresh air from the water, but they're getting straight toxic red fumes, you know? Mm. It's like there's no way to escape it. Yeah, them. there's not. It's not. Mm. Um, and, you know, our, our Heavenly Father says in Revelation 16, 3, And the second angel poured out his vial upon the sea. And it became as the blood of a dead man. And every living soul died in the sea. Okay, this verse is pretty in your face. Once again, you think about what's going on in Florida and think about this verse. You know, I mean, like I said, everything's like right there. Like (laughs) everything that's happening, guys. So, you know, you don't need to be uh, focused on trying to go visit somewhere or tour somewhere i mean you need to be focused on what's going on in the world period there is too much going on to be out here trying to go on vacation and if you look at these celebrities oh they you ain't gonna think the world's ending because they're on vacation right now while everything is going on and why do you think that they are on vacation 
so they can post all their pictures on Instagram, so they can have you distracted and looking at what they're doing in their life, not looking at the news, not researching, True. and not trying to seek what's going on truly. And not looking at how your world is crumbling around you every single day. Every single day we wake up, it is closer to the end of the world. It is closer to our Lord's return. Every day. So these celebrities can keep going on their vacations. They done sold they sold. They know where they going. <laughs> but it's up to us. We have to save ourselves. Because ain't nobody else trying to save us. Except for our Lord. So it's like, you know, I mean, I don't. <laughs> yeah, now Lord came down and did his part, you know. Now the ball is in our court. Thank you. Exactly. The ball is in our court. But, yeah, moving forward, you know, we um, we still have these wildfires across the world. But, you know, it most definitely keeps getting worse in California. And like I said, you would know it by these celebrities and how they're off on vacation, moving. They're, I mean, they're, you know, they're like whatever about it. Really. Yeah, yeah, they're good. They're just trying to ignore it. Like, yes. you know, it's normal to them or something. Yes. Or like, it's not going to get to them or something. Or, oh, it will. Know, like, they're just indestructible. Oh, it something. will. Because <laughs> there's already 16 fires there in California, and they're only 5% contained. So, oh, it will. <laughs> you know, now, this is always the kicker, though. You know, a good people are staying in California. Oh, y'all know how I feel about this. <laughs> like, I can't with people doing this. Like, I cannot with people wanting to stay. Like, why are you, you know, like, why are you, like, saying, oh, I I worked hard for this, you know. Um, I, I earned this, so I'm not leaving. I can see if you're like, you know what, if this is my fate, you know, if this is what God has for my life, and, you know, this is how he wants me to go, then I will go like this. I'm not going to yeah. run from, from the judgment. But when you come and you say, oh, I worked hard for this and whatever, none of this is ours, period. It don't matter. Like, the money ain't even yours. Exactly. Literally, the money gets passed around. So, obviously, it's not yours specifically. That's real. It don't have your name on it. Exactly. It doesn't have your name on it. But I know whose eye got on it. <laughs> so, obviously, it's not yours, right? So, it's like, you know, that just bothers me. People are like, oh, I'm not leaving because I worked hard for this. What do you mean? You know, what do you mean? Why are you holding on to these things so much? Yeah, this stuff don't matter. You know, when you die, you're not going to be able to, like, take it with you. You can't say, oh, I can't die because I worked so hard for this stuff. And exactly. I got to stay alive to hold on to the stuff. Exactly. No, I don't know how they making sense of that. No. Exactly. That ain't that ain't my mindset, so I don't understand it. So, yeah. <laughs> exactly. But um, also on the flip side, you know, they're saying some guy started these fires. Um don't care to know his name. Um, I see it as them trying to distract you from why this is really happening, you know, which is because the most high sin and punishment and signs, signs as a warning of judgment, guys. Like I said, if you want to stay there because you're like, you know, I'm a, this is judgment, this is fate, then that, I mean, that makes more sense than staying because you worked hard for this stuff that's temporary anyway. Yeah, you know, you putting your trust in, in your, you know, faith in our Heavenly Father, not the material things. So you like, you know, regardless of whatever come in my way, you know, you good and protected by Heavenly Father. Exactly. So you're not exactly. worried about anything, so that's why you stand there. You no. Know? Yes, nah. <laughs> like a whole other mindset about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. The scripture says in Matthew 3.12, whose fan is in his holy hand. Sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. I read that wrong. <laughs> I was yeah. like, wait, what? <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, the scripture says in Matthew 3, 12, whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garner, but he will burn up the shaft with unquenchable fire. Okay. Uh, we've spoken plenty on these fires, you know, so uh, please go check out our latest one about these fires. I think it was intense and intensifying wildfires worldwide yeah um we go a lot more in depth about it and et cetera. but you know like like our heavenly father keeps saying you know unquenchable fire you know and and i don't know i just feel like the power from that or something because what did i just say these things are five percent contained and these things have been burning for years already so it's like you know i remember doing doing an episode about the wildfires like the first episode i ever did and that was like in uh maybe like the Last part of 2016, 2017, somewhere around there. I'm like, Whoa. and it was burning before then. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, you know, and it's only 5%.